Not easy for poor old Gary Lineker. Whilst the British public bask in soaring temperatures, this multi-millionaire potato salesman is worried about climate change. Another heat wave, he tweets, over Europe and elsewhere. Records broken year on year. We're like a cancer patient who knows there's a tumour but prefers to ignore it and hopes it goes away, even though it gets larger every day. Hashtag don't look up. Shall you tell him, or shall I, that this strange seasonal change is not climate catastrophe, but a long-established phenomenon called summer? You've got to hand it to the BBC's eco-warrior-in-chief, who does tweet endlessly about the environment. That's when he's not flying around the world with his rather rich friends, enjoying some of the most gorgeous locations on Earth. And he's endlessly concerned about the environment, except when he's driving any number of Mercedes sports cars. Quite a garage this man has. Look at that little runner. I think Mike Parry calls that a fastback. Gosh, in both photos, his, his T-shirt goes with the car. Nice touch. And what about this particular beach snap? You've got to say he's ageing very well, but it doesn't look like it was taken in Blackpool, does it? This is a man who has endlessly defended the BBC and the licence fee, which enriches him to the tune of millions, of course, whilst jumping ship to rival BT Sport to cover their football tournaments when the Beeb don't have the rights. That's loyalty for you. Poor old Gary gets confused as well. Here tweeting that he doesn't really see the point in flags. I've tried really hard, but I just can't get excited by flags, he says. But miraculously... When paid large amounts of money to sell shirts, he's very patriotic and he loves a flag. Who knew? Gary is a laid back silver fox. Unflappable, it seems, except he doesn't seem to enjoy debate. Take a look at this tweet. Right, I'm done with the wearisome, misinformed climate change deniers blocking as many as possible. Sorry, Gary, that's not my style. I'm the opposite. I don't block anyone. I love free speech and I love having a right royal ding dong with people who think differently to me. Gary is very worried about global warming. But as the Telegraph journalist Oliver Smith points out, Qatar emit the third largest amount of carbon dioxide per capita of any country in the world. Around eight times as much as the UK. That's right, eight times as much as the UK. This journalist asks Gary Lineker whether he'll be boycotting the World Cup for that reason. Gary's response, I'll be there to report on it, not support it. I doubt many journalists that are sent to Ukraine are pro-Putin's war, but they still do their job. This is such a ridiculous argument, tweets Gary. Well, Oliver responds very cleverly with this. The BBC reported on the Tokyo Olympics from Salford in Greater Manchester. You could suggest a similar location. Unfortunately, this was a reply hidden by Gary Lineker himself. The truth hurts. Now, I'm a huge fan of Gary Lineker. He's a Leicester, Everton, Spurs and England legend. However, at GB News, I'm paid to have an opinion. And this channel is free. Gary Lineker is not paid to have an opinion and the BBC salary and his salary come from the licence fee, an obligatory tax for anyone that wants to watch a television set, including hard up pensioners threatened with jail for their pleasure if they don't pay. What confuses me most, however, are Gary's political tweets. I thought he worked for the Beeb and was impartial, but take a look at this. Why would you need an ethics advisor if you have no ethics? This was Gary's response to Boris Johnson's recent problems, calling Boris Johnson unethical. Could this be the self-same Gary Lineker who spent the last couple of years embroiled in a tax dispute with HMRC who claimed he owed them £3.6 million in income tax and £1.3 million in national insurance contributions? So much for the cost of living crisis about which Gary has, of course, been tweeting.
He's even called for higher taxes for the wealthy. You couldn't make it up. I do hope all of these political tweets aren't designed to get him out of that tax bill, a theory posited by his pals at The Guardian. But I can't imagine such ill endeavour on his part. I'm sorry, Gary, but all of this is one own goal after another. Perhaps you should show woke virtue signalling the red card. The fans aren't happy and you're losing the dressing room. 